hallelujah welcome again family god bless you all in jesus name the bible says this is a new day the lord has made and this new day comes with joy blessing celebration testimony as we receive this prophetic word in jesus name this prophetic word the lord says watch out for your neighbor i take it again the lord says watch out to your neighbor there is something going on in the spirit spiritual realm of which god is exposing to you as a warning watch out for your neighbor you are the one to decide what to do are you going to allow yourself to be swallowed to be consumed by that particular thing that your neighbor is preparing against you or you are going to stand your ground and hear and listen to the voice of God and refuse to go down I don't know the decision but God revealed to redeem when the Lord was about to destroy the land of Nini he sent his prophet Jonah the Bible says when prophet Jonah flee the Lord caused a fish to swallow Jonah. Jonah spent three days in fasting and prayers. After the three days fasting and prayers in the belly of the fish, Jonah was vomited in the land of Nini, of which he began to preach the word. He told the people of Nini, For your sin and calamity, God is about to destroy this great city. The people said, No, we are not going to die. We know. We know that this word is a warning from the Lord to us, but there is a solution to this word. They had to undergo fasting and prayers. They fasted, they prayed. When the king heard of the decision, the population of the city too, the king also came out from his royal throne, gave a decree that everybody must fast in three days. Everybody will fast, even the animals. Nobody will eat anything or drink. For three days, they wept and cried for the mercy of the Lord. God forgive them. Watch out for your neighbor. Any plan that anyone is planning against you can only make manifest if you allow it to 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 if you allow them to carry the plan against your life or your family. Because whenever God reveal anything is to redeem, is for you to keep to the prophetic word, stand your ground and refuse to go down. Stand your ground and refuse to to die. Stand your ground your ground and refuse for the word not to make manifest. The Bible says, "He who watches over Israel." neither sleep nor slumber your god that watches over you he neither sleep nor slumber that is the reason why when the wicked one arise when the wicked one are planning evil against you he is there to reveal in the olden days the lord spoke to the people through his prophet but now our days uh, many of us don't even believe in the prophet of the lord but i don't know but the bible says in the book of Hosea 12 13 uh, by a prophet a stammerer the nation israel was set free from egypt there is somebody watching me right now and this particular word is a warning to you that you should watch out you should be careful because of your neighbor i don't know many people will ignore they will say what are you talking about listen to me child of god when danger is coming danger will not announce to you only god can announce it to you when god reveal is to redeem he revealed the situation of the people of nini because he he, he wanted them to prepare if they will not change, they should get ready for the calamity of the Lord. When God revealed in those days of Noah, the Lord sent a message that a flood, a flood in the days of Noah, and the Lord instructed Noah to build the Act of Covenant. People were mocking at Noah. Those that were laughing and mocking, mocking at Noah was consumed by the flood. But Noah has to follow the instruction. I don't know if somebody will key and connect to this prophetic water. As you connect, the Lord wants you to undergo a three-day fasting and prayers. If you have never taken a serious three-day fasting and prayers, I would like you to connect and follow the prophet instruction. Take a three-day fasting and prayers. The Lord is restoring what the enemy has stolen upon your life. When Esther was about 
to, to come back to the throne. Now. The Bible says uh, she declared a three-day fasting and prayers uh, with the Jewish. Uh. Saul himself declared three-day fasting and prayers. Uh. Jonah himself fasted and prayed in the stomach of the fish for three days. The people of Nini declared a three-day fasting and prayer. There is, is, there is something that someone is planning against you. Watch out. This word is coming to you as a preparation for you to see God. God wanted to enter the secret place. Enter the sacred place and speak to him. Take a three-day fasting and prayer. There are a lot of things that God will be revealed. And the Lord said, watch out your neighbor. God will be exposing something. Watch out your neighbor. Fast and pray. Fast and pray. God revealed to redeem. You might ignore this word, but at the end you will regret. You will ask God why. The Lord will tell you. You heard this word from my servant, but you minimize it. You might be looking unto apostle. Don't minimize the little Jeremiah standing before you. I am standing as the little Jeremiah telling you that you should follow this prophetic instruction. There is something the Lord is about to break out in your life. I pray for somebody that is ready. I don't know if you are ready. Rush at the comment section and say, man of God, I'm ready to take the fast. God help me. I'm ready to take the fast. May the Lord help you. I pray for somebody as you undergo this three-day fasting and prayer. I pray that let any plan of the wicked upon your life, let it be reversed back to sender. For in Jesus' name, amen. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the share button to bless somebody somewhere that needs this word for in Jesus' name. Amen.